hello everyone in this video we will learn about different types of files so let us start with the different types of file mainly there are two types of file either a regular file or we can say a second one is directory file again if you wants to divide regular file then there are two types of regular file either ascii file or a binary file now let us see each and every file in detail so first of all we will see regular file versus directory so here we will compare regular file versus directory file so first of all regular file here if we wants to define regular file then it is a file that contain user information for example word file or we can say notepad file or we can say excel file these files are used to store information of user and the application program or we can say user are responsible for understanding the structure and the content of any specific regular file that means user program or we can say application program as well as user can understand the content of these file second one is directory if we wants to define directory then it is nothing but a system file for maintaining the structure of file system for example if we are creating any folder in any drive then that folder is nothing but a directory so to keep the track of file the file system normally have directories or we can say is folder that is nothing but a directory now next move further different types of files which are the different types of files first one is ascii file ascii file contains the line of text means this file contains simply a text and advantage of ascii file is that they can be displayed as well as printed as it is and they can be edited with the ordinary text editor means user can understand this file or we can say user can understand the content of this file and this file can be displayed as well as printed as it is and can be edited by using any ordinary editor or we can say text editor if the number of program uses ascii file for input and output it is easy to connect the output of one program to the input of another program example of ascii file is c c++ html etc now second one is binary file here word comes as binary means whatever the data that is stored in this file is in the form of bits that is binary file so if you wants to define binary file then binary file contain the formatted information that only certain application or we can say is processor can understand this file cannot be understood by regular application program or regular user binary file must be run on appropriate software or we can say processor before human can read them means this type of file cannot easily understand directly by user so if user wants to understand the content of this file then before reading such files by the user this file must be processed by appropriate software so that the content of this file can be converted into such type which can be read by human being the example of binary files are executable file compile file spreadsheet compressed file image etc next third one is device file in linux and U unix each and every hardware device is treated as a file and a device file allowed to access hardware devices so that end user do not need to get technical detail about hardware so third type is device file that is in linux and unix each and every hardware device is treated as a file so this device is nothing but a device file in short a device file or we can say special file is an interface for a device driver this allows software to interact with device driver using standard input output system call which simplifies many task next one is fourth one is character special file it is a type of device file which talk to device in the form of character by character that is one byte at a time 
and the character special file are related to input output and it is used to model serial output devices such as terminal printer and network and last one is block special file that is the fifth one is block special file it is a type of device file which talk to device one block at a time here one block is equal to 512 bytes to 30 kilobytes that is depend on your device so this is nothing but a device file but these file can talk to device in the form of block that is block by block entire block can be transferred between the devices and block special file are used to model disk dvd cd rom and memory region etc next move further which are the different access methods for a file or we can say is files access method first one is sequential file access method here name itself indicate that the data can be accessed sequentially from the beginning to the end you cannot skip the content as well as we can say that you cannot directly access data from anywhere randomly sequential file could be rewound however so they could read as often as needed these files are convenient when the storage medium was magnetic tape or we can say cd-rom second one is random file access here again name itself indicate that you can randomly access your data from anywhere from your device so file whose byte or we can say record can be read in any order is known as random access file and random access file are essential for many applications for example database system let us take example suppose if an airline customer call up and want to reserve a seat on a particular flight then in such cases the reservation program must be able to access the record for that flight without having to read the record for the thousand of other flight means suppose a customer wants to access flight number 10 then for that you need not to move from flight number 1 to flight number 10 you can directly access the record of flight number 10 that is known as random file access method thank you very much